Oh, this video is for educational and medicinal purposes only, and we're American. Good morning. 11 o'clock here in Amsterdam. So not exactly off to an early start, but I didn't hardly sleep at all. I was so flipping excited and overwhelmed that, yeah, I managed maybe three hours, but here I go off to Bagheera, rated as one of the best coffee shops in Amsterdam. Let's go find out why. I like that place. I got some lemon bubble, it was banging. The plug's there, but I'm not gonna go there yet. Good friend of mine. Um, is friends with the the guy's sister, I think it is, oh. that owns the plug in Barcelona. So yeah, it's a small world. I wish my bro Joe was here. <laughs> I'm on the wrong side of the street. There's lots of people over there just looking at me. <laughs> Am I being paranoid? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, everyone is looking at me. <laughs> Hilarious. Nice clock tower. What's that part of? 16, 14. I remember that year well. So people there fishing. Wow, man. It looks like a cool life. Imagine living on the river here. I wonder if it's a cheaper option. And somehow they managed to evade the uh, the dreaded tax man. You'd like to think so, wouldn't you? Is there anywhere like that? Only for them rich. Who knows, my friend? I'm here in Gronberg Bar. Two and a half grand a month. Would you pay two and a half grand a month for one of those? Here we are, yo. So the bluebirds up here as well. There it is. It's got to use your noodle. And watch out for bikes. Look who's here. I wish my bro Joey was here. Look who I found <laughs> in Amsterdam. <laughs> little bit of backstory for you this is my friend Jay we've known each other for 35 years or more up until the build-up he was saying to me oh you're gonna love it there and I was like yeah man I wish he was coming we was bantering about it I was saying see you there then and I really didn't expect to see him there and he surprised me and it was dope I intended to have a chill weekend and we just pushed the boat out went on a mad one smoked as much weed as we could and it was great real memorable real good bonding <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Morning. I slept a bit better if it wasn't for these ah. next door slamming doors. Careful with your bikes. What are they doing? Who knows? Contingency point. If it's your first time in Amsterdam, you have to go to the Bulldog. Go to number 90. That's been there since 1975 and they are trailblazers. My subjective experience was great there. People were friendly and they actually put me on a playlist a few years ago, which I'm grateful for. So I've been intrigued since then as to what the place is like. So I had to check it out. Check it out. Morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. Sunny day. Lovely day. Coffee, Yonko. Yonko. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that sunshine, man. Take me back. So, Bro Joe was telling me this used to be one of the craziest parts of the red light district. Left and right, there's windows where girls would be beckoning you to come in. Single file, please. There's literally enough room for one person. There's a doubt attack from South London. One thing you'll notice down here as well is the terrible graffiti. Proper Toy Town Massacre. Toy Takeover. Disgusting. I'm all for graffiti, but I hate bad graffiti. It gives us a bad name, for God's sake. Anyway, we're coming up on that bell tower. I believe it's called Vesterkirk. Nomini Padre o Spirito Santi. Every time, you know, it's like, you have to rate it. We've got good seats, we've got good weed. But weed is music. A massive factor for us in the whole thing was the music in these coffee shops. And nine times out of 10, or maybe eight times out of 10, it was absolutely horrendous. It was chart music, or it was auto-tune trap music, bad vibe. Who the hell gets high to bad-minded music like that? But anyway, the Bluebird, cool vibes, but a lot better. Uh, Coffee Shop Reefer had good music on in there, like soul, funk, hip-hop, and also Bagheera's had reggae, and that's not too bad for me, that's like a seven. But it really does dictate the whole vibe of your experience there for us, because we've all got a keen ear for music. And uh, when it's terrible music, it's like easy times. For us, it was more like hard times. <laughs> It was like a teenager's birthday party. It was so bad. It was Rihanna and Beyonce. I don't know anybody that gets high to that kind of music. Maybe you do. Maybe you like shit music, but I don't think you do. If you're watching this, I bet you like good music. I wasn't expecting it to keep right. We came down here and I was so overwhelmed with the look of these crowds that I dropped my joint. And then when I went to pick it up, everyone was looking at me like, you're not going to pick that up, are you? And I see the look in their eye like, if you pick that up, you're a bum. The pressure just got me and it was really nice chocolate spliff. Uh, like to be fair, I've got the, f the full effect of it because I'm f***ing off my face. <laughs> Actually, I got away with it lightly. It's like, yeah, yeah, you finished that joint, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, that was a yeah. time ago, bruv. Just in your mind to say you finished it. Didn't you? Yeah, I had just enough of that shit. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I got money to burn, dog. I just, <laughs> you know. Somebody's gonna find it. But the way they <laughs> looked at me, the way they, you're not gonna pick that up, are you? It's like, I'm really good at reading people. <laughs> yeah, man. How to deal with a maddening crowd. So the month that we came here, the ball had started rolling for the legalization of cannabis in the Netherlands and it's basically they're doing it worldwide aren't they our beloved ganja they're basically monopolizing on it the government are and uh, it is what it is you know we always thought it'd be this way and it's going this way the thing is the struggle they've got in Netherlands is the fact that they've got loads of gangs trying to muscle in and provide the coffee shops and stuff like that so it's created a lot of tension a lot of friction over the past years and you know I think over there it seems like it's partly a solution for them to stop all that friction going on or it might be a guise basically what they're saying is now we're the gangs <laughs> now we're the gangs you get your weed off us now and that's it no questions which is the same as what the moroccans are doing whoops so i bet the locals ain't exactly happy about it apparently the process takes four years all in all to complete so four years of independence before the government sabotage it all 
That's not to say that the coffee shop owners ain't gangster as well, but hey, I'm just here to have a good time, man. None of my business. <laughs>